What's up you guys, your boy Shado in the building and I wanna welcome you to another edition of Is It Real? The show before you go, you ask Shado. That's right, I'm never gonna steer you wrong. Yes, and tonight's feature film is Black Widow. Yes, the longer awaited Black Widow movie. I know due to COVID this movie got pushed back a year and now here we are and we finally get to see it. Now the question is, is it worth the wait? For me, this movie is too little too late. And not because of COVID and got pushed back a year. I'm yelling and I want to rant right now to Disney. They messed this up. They botched this bad. This movie should have came out six years ago. Like straight up. There's This is inexcusable. This movie could have been really great. And because of it coming out the time it did after everything's been done and then COVID pushed it back another year you lose the connection with the movie and the character because you already know what's going to happen, you know? So it it just ruins the whole vibe of the movie. Had this movie came out six years ago, it would have been perfect. This movie would have really meant something in the franchise or in the series of the Avengers, the, the whole saga. But for whatever reason, Disney didn't want to push this movie early on back then it's just bad optics now is the movie good yes this movie is great it's a, it's a good movie it's just because of the timing of it it just robs it of what it could have been and it's so unfortunate because Scarlett Johansson and all the other actors in this movie really pulled their weight and made this movie made it great and the writing in this movie was phenomenal especially with painting the picture for the background uh Natasha uh, character played by Scarlett Johansson and her upbringing or, or a little bit of some remnants of having a family now and then later joining into the Avengers but they, the, the story was well written out it really was they did a great job the the thing that you lose in this movie is just emotional connection um, so that's the tough part and that's because like I said too little too late now the CGI in this movie phenomenal they did a great job they knocked it i mean it's disney marvel they're gonna knock it out of park with the cgi and they killed it with this um the action in this is really good the the the, the choreography the fight scenes i mean it was on par oh shout out to uh uh shana west i saw you in there the summer rider you know what i'm saying yeah you got it in so mad props to you see you on there yeah now i'm gonna have to give this movie a sharp because it was a solid movie it was really good and i can't like i said i can't wait to see it again and add it to my collection now had this movie came out six years ago it probably would have been an extra sharp because they really dove the writing really dove into the emotional side and the pain that she went through in her upbringing with the family and which would have made this movie stellar but it, because of you know the the delay it just robbed it of that that essence of it so but yeah it's a sharp it's a really good movie that's that tillamook shark if you don't know because i do that cheese rating so don't sleep on that tillamook shark cheese anyway you guys check out the movie it's worth it you'll thank me later and so let's go ahead and keep it moving because i got some oldies but goldies now today's first oldie but goldie is the wolf of wall street yes go check that out if you haven't seen it shame on you this is a good movie especially if you're in the resale world if you're a salesman or you're a broker this i'm sure this is like the get your mind right kind of movie for them <laughs> much like office space if you work in kind of a cubicle kind of job but yeah this movie's it's crazy movie yeah it's on some other stuff and another oldie but goldie movie is serenity yes so if you haven't seen that that's definitely a movie you got to check out now I want to do some Is It Real Honorable Mentions. And my first honorable mention will be Infinite, starring Dylan O'Brien and Mark Wahlberg. Now this is a great movie. Now imagine yourself if you could remember everything you ever did in your life and other lives. That's Infinite. And it just becomes this struggle between those that can remember and those that don't want you to remember anymore. You gotta see that movie. It's a great movie. You guys will definitely enjoy it. 
Also starting in this movie, Chiwetel Ejiofor. I hope I said your name right, bro. <laughs> I know you released a video saying you're just over with people mispronouncing your name. So uh, if I did, I really tried to say your name right, but I hope I did it. But anyway, he was a great uh, role in this movie as well. And I really feel he brought it to life with his abilities in this movie. Now, my next honorable mention movie is The Tomorrow War with Chris Pratt. Now, this movie takes place in present time, but he's fighting a future war. Yeah, and he has to confront his past to save the future. Even more reasons to watch the movie, I know. But trust me, see Infinite and watch The Tomorrow War. You will thank me if you haven't seen those now. And those, to me, are the best streaming movies right now that are out there. And if you ask me, honestly, if these movies came out in the theater, they would have smashed. Definitely huge blockbusters. And The Tomorrow War is, to me, by far, like the best movie I've seen like all year. Hands down. That's, that movie was well executed. Um, so anyway, now you got your homework if you haven't seen those movies. Anyway, you guys... I want to thank you once again for tuning in to another episode of Is It Real? The show. Before you go, you ask Shay No. And until next time, you guys, I will see you at the movies. So, peace. I did it. I did it. I did it. Yeah. <laughs> We're out. <laughs> Whew. I love my life. I love this stuff. It gives me life. Yeah. I love this wireless mic, man. It's not it's cool. Like I don't feel like this is in my way anymore. You know, that one mic. Like you probably see my name on my shirt now, but well, I hope it looks good when I go to edit it, but yeah, I'm really liking this wireless mic. <laughs>